Howdy folks, Croc the Duck Farmer here, and it's time to talk about modded Minecraft. I'm standing on my crafting tower of power, so obviously let's talk a bit about what we can do here with AE2. Let's get back to first person mode. Alright, this right here is a more complex uh, ME network than, than I've demonstrated before. Some of the stuff uh, is very common uh, from before. Here's the crafting for the in, uh, the inscribers, and uh, I've already done that, so I'll put a little linky magic in the corner. And I've already talked about uh, incorporating non-AE uh, machines into the system, so again, more linky magic. But this is a, a very common network that I'll set up uh, in a, a column in the center with things going off in all four directions. Gives me lots of space, uh, lots of channels, because it's 32 channels out of each side, even though I'm just using smart cable, so it's only eight. But uh, still gives me a, a pretty good amount of work that I can do. And so we're gonna do some, some crafting here. Uh, to get crafting working, you need two things. You need an interface and a molecular assembler. Now you can just do one for one, uh, like I've got here, except the molecular assembler needs to be powered. And if we take a look, you can see the, it says that the device is offline. Uh, we can put it online by tossing a, a real quick cable right there, and now you can see it is online. But we're not going to use any of this, so we'll just destroy that and make it go away. Uh, instead, I over here have two dense packages for the crafting. This right here has a single interface surrounded by six molecular assemblers and since they are in the, the full solids they transfer power with each other whereas the, the flat interface doesn't. This is best if you're going to use a single set of, of patterns that you're going to make lots of things uh, because it, this one interface can power six different uh, assemblers uh, s simultaneously. This is the ac exact opposite of that. There is a single assembler in the inside surrounded by six interfaces. And I'm using the solids so that I can have all the power surrounding and uh, penetrating through. If I use the flat interfaces, then I, I could only have five because this cable would have to connect to the center uh, assembler to power it, but because they're solids, they power. This is when I don't need lots of simultaneous crafting, but I do have lots and lots of recipes. This is a, a setup that you need to do. Uh, each one of these interfaces will count as a, a channel. So I have six here, seven, and the eighth is that one there for the in inscribers. And this cable tells me that I have used all eight of eight channels. I cannot hook anything more, or some of these will go offline. Uh, back here, I have three examples of crafting uh, CPUs. Uh, each of these have a crafting monitor, so you can just see what's being produced in that station. Uh, it's not necessary, uh, but I also have two 64K uh, crafting storages. This one has an additional coprocessor, and this one has three additional coprocessors. Each crafting station is able to power three molecular assemblers simultaneously, Adding a coprocessor allows for an additional three. So this one, if I were to use my dense setup over there, could only fire up three of them simultaneously. This would be able to power all six. And if I had two of those, this one could fire all 12. But I don't, so I don't need them. So we don't have them. So let's go ahead and start doing some crafting uh, from end to end of something that's fairly complex and since we let's pretend we don't have uh, enough of these storages let's go ahead and make a 64k drive storage it's a fairly complex labor intensive it's a pain to do it requires 27 of uh, the gold nine of the certus and four of the engineering to make uh, all the stuff that we need so let's go ahead and start first thing uh, I do is I'll take a look at the, the recipe all right, quartz glass, uh, we don't have. Redstone, we, we do, we've got iron, and we don't have the 64K storage. 
and that just goes into a whole bunch of others so we'll ignore that for right now quartz glass we need quartz glass that requires a powder of some sort crushed up and glass well I've got glass so I just need to make some of this uh, nether quartz or in my case I'm going to use certus quartz so let's go ahead and grab a piece of certus and I'm going to go over here to the pulverizer and drop it in real quick and now I have crushed certus quartz dust all right that's what I need you want to have uh, the beginning and end so let's make a pattern I can process a single certus quartz into a single piece of dust let's go ahead and do that and since I've got multiple interfaces here, I'm going to use an interface terminal to access them rather than drifting to them each one by one. Uh, not to mention I can't access this, uh, that one anymore because I've got a, an assembler in the way. But with this, I can access them. And the nice thing is I can name them with the anvil so I can know which one is, is going on. And since I might use, uh, I don't need, oh, I need to put this one in the pulverizer so it goes into the interface right there at the bottom. Alrighty, so that will allow me to create all the, the dust I need. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to need probably a bunch, so let's make 20 real quick. Go. And if we take a look over here, you can see this processor here is doing the work, and it's all done. We've got them all produced. And sure enough, there's our 20, plus the ones we had before, so we're good. Now we need to make a recipe for the glass. It is not a processing pattern, it is a crafting pattern. So let's go back to here, click there, and this will create for us the four glass that we need. So, oh, I didn't actually need to create glass, but I did want the pattern, so let's dump that. There's the possibility I might need lots of this quickly, so I think I will put that into the one remaining slot for my lots. I could use any of them, but I'm going to do that for now. Alrighty, the rest of these let me toss into the system. So, we now can produce the quartz glass we need. We got redstone. We need to produce these. 64 requires four of the 16s, requires each one of those requires four fours, or three fours, and each one of the fours requires three ones. All right, so there's the recipe for a 1K. And the I think we have everything on hand. Let's shift click that. Sure enough, we do. This is a craftable recipe. It doesn't need a processor of some sort to do it, so that's what we need there. Let's encode that. And this, let's go ahead and put into our dense pack. Alrighty, so we are going to need multiple of these. Let me pull that out of the way and say I need a total of 27 of these, but I already have one, so I need 26. So we'll let that start processing. It has, we have enough of those. I had already produced enough of those, but it knows how to make those. Plenty of those to make those start. So we'll let that move. See how fast that's going? Alrighty. So we have all the things we need for that. It's one of the nice things of having pre-printed these. Next, if we take a look at our recipe, the ones get put together with an additional calculation processor to make that one. Alrighty, so there's our four. Recipe for our 4K. Let's put that in place. And if we need to produce those right now, we need nine of them. So let's get nine of those. We've got everything available that we need. We don't have enough uh, the quartz glass, but we're going to craft that. We do have all the materials, so let's start. And there's our nine. Done. Alrighty. Next, if we look at our recipe, we now have, oh, we got all the fours made. We now have nine of these to make a 16. Oh, we have no glowstone dust. We need to make some. Fortunately, I happen to have some glowstone. So let's grab a piece of that. Let's dump that again into, oh, we can put it into the chest, which goes into the, process, the pulverizer. And we take a look, and we already have some glowstone dust. That can have been four, yep, four glowstone dust from each one. 
Unlike the Certus Quartz, which gives us just one for one, this gives us four to one. So let's take a look at their patterns. This is a processor. We're not just assembling it like the others, we actually have to process it. And that gets processed through the pulverizer. So we come back to the pulverizer and drop that in there. Alrighty. Toss that back in. In fact, I'm going to reassemble that back into glowstone so we have no dust. Now, if we look at the recipe for making the 16, let's clear that, go back to our crafting. All right. To make the 16, we needed the four glowstone dust. We don't have that, but we can make it real quick. Let's make some. Now we got them. We can drop them right in. And that's the pattern that we need for to make this a 16K. Let's toss that into our same dents. Alrighty, and let's execute that. We need three of these. So it's going to craft some additional glowstone dust from those two, and that gives us everything we need. We only need three of those. Oh, onward. It is grinding up the dust, and that's what took that little bit of a delay, but we've got our three. All right, we just need to make our 16, which I think we're out of the glowstone dust, which we are. Let's order up another quick. I said one, but it can only make it in groups of four, so it's going to make four for us real quick. And what is it that's missing in the middle? Oh, we need some more quartz glass. Well, let's go ahead and tell it to do that. Make us another. And again, this makes four at a time, so just telling it one will make the four. All right, so back to here. Clear this one out. We should have all the bits we need to make the 64. Why do we not have all the bits we need? That's because they're sticking in this crafting terminal. Let's go back to the pattern. 64 needs all those. We've got them all there now. Let's drop that pattern, zero that out. Put that into the encoder, and let's make one that verifies that this works. We just need one. Everything's showing up in white, not red. And there's our piece. Next, and finally, we need to craft the casing for it using that 64 case piece. We've got everything on hand that we need. There's our 64K storage. This is an assembly crafting as opposed to a processor. So let's go back to here, grab that one, zero that out, go back to our, drop that in. So now, in here, we can craft as many of these as we have materials for. We have enough on hand for one, so let's start that. There's our extra drive. And if we come here, we're full up. And if we want to produce more, let's say let's produce two more, here's where it will produce everything that we need, and we can see that we are out of redstone. We need to produce more redstone to be able to craft everything else that's in here. But because we've got every recipe set up, we know how to make each individual, individual component, and we can craft step by step by step up all the pieces that we need and you can do this with any of the recipes that are in the game you may have to add additional machines to the system if you want them to automatically pulverize or create alloys or to in anything else that happens to be just add a different machine to the system and then set up recipes and you're good to go course you got to have enough redstone and I'm out of redstone so I will have to go to the mining world and doing some some redstone work fortunately I just did a little bit of work over there we should make that uh, happen really soon but that's a different video thanks for watching this has been grok the duck farmer bye